Hey everybody, um, happy new year. Today is the first day of 2012 and it is also the eighth day of my juice fast. I haven't eaten any solid food for the last eight days, which is amazing to me. Um, today I wanted to make a little bit longer of a video, so hang with me. I got a comment on my YouTube from Savannah's Next 60 asking me why I was doing the juice fast for 60 days. Um, I'm obviously not overweight or fat or anything like that, so she was wondering why I had decided to do something this crazy. I'll get into that in a minute. First, I wanted to give a brief recap of today. Um, I woke up this morning and had half a pitcher of some juice from yesterday evening. It was celery and tomato and cucumber and carrot, uh, which was fine. I was worried a little bit about storing it in the fridge overnight, but it was fine in the morning, it wasn't too bad. Um, and then for lunch, I had half a pitcher of spinach, my usual, which I just love. It's my favorite juice by far. Um, all that good protein and nice green color. Um, I love the spinach juice. Um, I also had some uh, grapefruit juice for lunch. We made an entire pitcher of grapefruit and had that, which was also delicious. Um, in the afternoon, I had a snack, which was carrot juice. It was my first time making pure carrot juice, and I found that I loved it. It is also delicious. It's almost as good as the spinach juice. It will definitely be something I do in the future, just straight pure carrot juice. Um, and this afternoon, um, my girlfriend, Young Fei, and I, we went to the market to get some more fruit. We bought some apples and pears and grapefruit and blueberries and grapes and mangoes and uh, grapefruit, I guess I said that, um, all sorts of good stuff. Um, so we got plenty of fruit to juice over the next few days in addition to the veggies that we already have. Um, I found that the fruit I can buy a little bit more at a time and leave in the house with the veggies I really need to be buying every day, otherwise they go bad. Spinach and the celery and stuff like that lasts for about two or three days at most before it starts to turn. Um, so we went on and got plenty of fruit, and then tonight I made more carrot juice. I made three or four glasses of carrot juice, which we both are really enjoying. I made some tomato juice, which was also straight up, and it also looked quite good. Um, it reminds me a bit of pasta sauce, but it was delicious. Um, made some apple, pear, and cucumber juice, which was good as well. Um, we tried putting a mango into the masticating juicer um, after removing the skin and the seed in the center or the pit and um, that didn't work very well. It was a mushy mess so I had to use a little water to, to get some of it out and it was just a waste. Um, I don't think we'll be doing that again. Um, and then we also made some uh, spinach juice of course which I have to have in the evenings now. I'm sort of craving it. Um, but things are going well. I'm having no problem um, with the juice or with energy or anything. If anything I have more energy than I used to have. I'm feeling great and doing well. I'm very pleased with the fast so far. Um, things are going well. So um, to get into my motivations and my reason for doing the juice fast, the first would be that my girlfriend um, Yang Fei in the last year has put on between 20 and 30 kilos. Um, she's put on a lot of weight and um, she doesn't have much time to exercise and she's a bit lazy. So um, we're looking at from a diet perspective and maybe slowly increasing the exercise and seeing how we can get her to be healthier. Um, she had a diet that was largely or almost entirely meat based, lots of oils, lots of fried and processed foods and so I thought this would be a good way to get her into a healthier diet and get her into better shape in a way that she could easily accept. So I decided to do it as a way to support her. It turns out that before we started the fast she had her wisdom teeth removed so she actually is starting the fast later than I'm. Today is my eighth day, it's her second day. Um, but I'm still dedicated and devoted and all the people in my office have taken bets to see how long I can last and I'm hopefully gonna be able to prove them all wrong and make it to the end. Um, so the first motivation was to be supportive of her and her efforts to get healthier and um, lose some weight. Um, but I also, I've always loved juices and smoothies and ever since I was a kid I used to get Jamba Juice almost every day and in college I had juices and wheatgrass and I've always enjoyed juicing. Um, and so I felt that um, I had also increased my diet to include 
lots of salt and sugars and just junk food, processed foods that were not good. I was eating two or three candy bars a day, um, maybe even more sometimes, lots of oily foods and, and stuff that really wasn't great for me diet-wise. I've never been overweight, but um, I've always been concerned with the quality and the, how healthy the food I'm eating is. And so I, I was looking to make a change as well in terms of finding stuff that was healthier to put in my body. Um, the sugars would always bother me. I'm really worried that when I get older, they'll be a problem. Um, and so I'm looking, I've cut out the sugars entirely and I actually don't miss them anymore. Um, sometimes I crave a candy bar, but I can get over it. Um, I used to have salty foods a lot. I put salt on everything. The more salt, the better. Um, I'd have salty popcorn maybe almost every day, uh, at least three or four times a week. Um, lots of salt and lots of oil in all the foods that I made. My, uh, I have a maid who cooks for me usually. Um, I live in China and that's pretty common. And um, she used lots of oils, um, oil in almost everything I, I ate. So lots of oils, lots of salts, lots of sugars, lots of snacks and processed foods, potato chips and all sorts of junk food. Um, so I'm looking to make my diet a little bit healthier and clean out the junk that's just been building up for years and years and years. So I'm going to be testing myself. I've never really done this. I'm, um, I've never fasted in my entire life and so it's definitely a, a challenge for me personally. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it but I'm, I'm dedicated and motivated and so hopefully I'll make it. Um, so I want to get healthier, I wanted to challenge myself a bit, I wanted to get rid of the junk that I'm eating, um, I wanted to support my girlfriend, um, and those were some of the main motivations behind why I did this. Um, I've always been of the mindset that food is not just a way of sustaining yourself and getting the energy you need, but it's also a, um, a fun and enjoyable part of life. I, I live to eat, so to speak, and I eat all sorts of stuff. Whenever I traveled, uh, one of the main things I did was find local foods and local delicacies and, and through food um, I would enjoy my life, so to speak. So cutting out the tasty and delicious stuff that I eat solely for taste without thinking about the uh, whether it's healthy or not is something I'm, I'm working on right now to, to find foods that are good for me um, and healthy that um, I also enjoy. So. That will be a challenge and something I'm going to work on. Um, I don't think I'll ever fully be a vegetarian or stop eating meat or just do juices, but if I can incorporate that into my regular diet when I finish this and maybe do one meal a day or maybe do it a couple times a week or something like that, I think it'll be um, much better. So I'm looking to improve on what I, I did before, maybe not replace it necessarily, but for these 60 days, I'll be I'll be doing nothing but juices and veggies and fruits, um, juiced fruits and veggies, um, no solid foods of any sort. Um, get all the junk that's built up in my body out of there and, and start from scratch in a way that's healthier. Um, so that's why I'm doing it, um, mainly for health reasons, mainly um, to support my girlfriend and. Um, Wish me luck because I'm I'm, I'm in it now. So um, happy New Year to everyone. I think that's about it for today. I'll get into some more of the the reasoning and my my thought process on why I felt it was a good idea to do and why I decided to do it, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, a little later on, but th that was the basic motivation. Um, so happy New Year. Um, good luck to everyone out there as well. Anyone who's thinking about doing it, I'm so far a, a big fan and send encouragement to you all.